<laughs> Welcome to Money Making Conversation. I am your host, Rashawn McDonald. I recognize that we all have different definitions of success. For some, it's a sizable paycheck. Mine is helping people wake up and inspiring them to accomplish their goals and live their very best life. These are my passions, and that's what I'm going to do for you. That's why we do Money Making Conversation. Bring people on my show to let them tell you their story, and you take the information from their story to help you out with your dreams. I want you to stop tripping over small challenges and prepare to rise above the bigger obstacles that life will present to you. My next guest is Kevin Bloodsoe. We go all the way back to the Hoodie Awards in Los Angeles, California, before he opened Bloodsoe's Bar and Q on La Brea, which I've been to many times in Los Angeles. Kevin is a chef, television personality, and two times Steve Harvey Hoodie Award winner. In 2008, he opened Bloodsoe's by BBQ and has since grown into an international empire. You hear me when I say international from Compton to international with Blood Souls Bar and Q, which I talked about earlier. It's right there on La Brea, right there, man. You got valet parking, everything, great food. Every time I go there, man, it's just a beautiful uh, display of food, uh, people in there, cross-sectional people, uh, concession stand at the LAFC soccer stadium, a location in Proud Bird, right there in LA, been there many times, catering, and a sprawling restaurant and bar called San, San Antonio by Blood Soul BBQ in the Crown Casino in Melbourne. Hear me now, y'all. Melbourne, Australia. That's where the international part comes from. The legend of Blood Soul BBQ begins in Costa County, Texas. That's right south of Dallas, Texas. The reason I know, I'm from Houston, Texas. So I passed through Costa okay. County many times to get up to <laughs> Dallas. Come on now. Where the Blood Soul family has been perfecting the craft of slow, sm slow smoke meats for five generations. But while his family roots are laid in Texas, Kevin himself was born and raised in Compton, California. That's where I met him. Now he is a television star. Like I said earlier, tell him. He big time television star. Sitting up there, man, got makeup and anything on. You can catch him judging on Netflix, the American Barbecue Showdown. I've seen every episode. I've also seen him on the Food Channel, Cooking Network. I've seen him on, on the Bar Rescue. I've seen this brother everywhere. Please welcome to Money Making Conversations. I want to call him a dear friend and a guy I feel so blessed to talk to right now on my show today. My man, Kevin Blutto. How you doing, sir? Oh, man. I am good. I, hey, after that introduction, I'm I, interview over. I'm good. I'm sitting over here smiling so hard. I'm cracking windows and stuff. Well, well, I had to because I see you post on the on the on social media. You're gonna be talking to the legend on Thursday. I saw that on social media. Yeah. I just smile. I took a oh, screenshot. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, let me just, let me let me make it perfectly clear. I would not be doing probably none of this extra stuff if it wasn't for winning that uh, first hoodie award, man. I would never forget that. Mm -hmm. I remember talking to you backstage, brother. Yes, sir. You were so cool. And it was like I always knew you. Mm -hmm. And Steve, too. But mm -hmm. when me and you hollered backstage, and man, you came and gave me the hug, I was like, damn, have I met him before? I just wanted to <laughs> say, man, and I have like, and I mean, you told me something that night. And I don't know if you remember, but you said, you're going to be all right. Always look out for your folks. You remember you told yep, me that? Absolutely. Day. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and I believe I in that. I believe in that. that man. Mm -hmm. You know, and I just want to say, man, I appreciate you. I appreciate everything you guys have done for me, man. And, yes, and I, I really, really miss the Hoodie Awards. I really do. Because win or lose, it was so much fun, man, how y'all take normal folks from the neighborhood and made us feel incredible every time for those three or four days, man. I just... <laughs> Always want to thank you guys, man. It was an incredible time. It was an incredible ride. And even because I think I went to like six straight or seven Absolutely. straight. Absolutely. Remember and, we had those little, those little just, meet and greets and all that stuff? Remember? Yeah. Oh, man. The blue, <laughs> the green room in there with Judge Matthews and all them folks. And, Come on now. And Walk and the red carpet. Person. Come on now. Don't forget, but Kevin. Man, Walk that red carpet the, now. The red, the, the red carpet. <laughs> and to get my first one for, uh, what was Sally Richard and uh, there you go. uh, uh Bernie Mac and he mm -hmm. was uh, not Bernie Mac, uh, George Wallace mm -hmm. clowning for 30 minutes and, mm -hmm. and, and my pants falling down <laughs> and everything, man. This memories, man, I cherish the shine real tall. Oh, but, uh, you know, so, uh, um, I'm a, I, th I have the video of, of of your winning. I don't know if you have that. I'm going to send it to you. No, nah, okay? please don't show that, man. Please. No, I'm going I'm, I'm to send it to you. I got them all. <laughs> I got the entire history of the Hoodie Awards slash Neighborhood Awards. Yeah, I got, I got yeah, it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but you know yeah. something, Kevin, is the thing about it is that that's what it was all about. It's all 
always been about the people. It's always worth yeah. recognizing the regular people because, you know, we get so we get become like unknown. We, we get burdened like we, we're not even delivering or contributing. And that's why I was telling you back to take care of your people, because what we yeah. did yeah. know, you know, Steve Harvey and I did know at the time was that we, had, you know, I, I started this in Houston, Texas in 1997, just as a I was a sidekick on the radio show. And then what happened was Steve yeah. came. We got the radio gig in L.A. He said, Rashawn, did you should do that hoodie award thing? I think that would be big. And, you know, yeah. I would never as a as an individual, I could never just go to the radio station. But Steve was big enough to say, let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah. I got to give credit yeah. where credit's due. And they yeah, went in no there, and they sold it and we sold the idea. We went to Vegas several times with the, the forum several times. And then we went back to yeah. Vegas. And so it what, what, when you when you talk about it, you know, because what I didn't see coming was how it affected the business, how yeah, it enabled yeah. you. Talk about how the, the Hoodie Awards affected you guys with all that promotion. Steve hollering it out on the, here's the yeah. nominees, here's the nominees, here's yeah. the top four, here's the top four. Talk about that. I mean, the pride that it, I mean, uh, it's like people still to this day just talk about when it was time to vote. Yes. The first vote and the second vote and, and, and how genius it was the way y'all put that together to have the first vote and the second vote, but mm -hmm. just the pride of bringing people together and, and people just want to be part of that. And then when you win and, and bring it home, man, it's like in the neighborhood, it's like, you know, winning the national championship, or something. <laughs> you know, everybody want to come and so many people would wait to hear if you won. And I mean, be, I mean, we had customers cry. Mm -hmm. when we lost. Wow. You know what I mean? Wow. And mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it's that. I mean, because like I said, you don't have that much. Like I said, you you don't have that many shows that do that, especially, I mean, we barely got enough for, for real celebrities that they give props to. Right. So to right. have, you know, the normal hardworking people trying to run their businesses and all that, doing their thing and getting an award. And, 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 and like I said, getting an award from Sally Sally Richards and, and, and George Wallace and and the people I met backstage and just the whole thing, man, is incredible, man. I mean, I, it, it was a, it was a real beautiful time, man. And it's just the pride that it brings. And then the, the customers that you get, wow. I mean, if you notice everything that I do, every show that I say that I do, they say about winning the hoodie award, no yeah. matter what they yeah. always say in Canada, mm -hmm. Australia and whatever, mm -hmm. like the lady told the hoodie, I said, it's the hoodie, <laughs> you know, and, uh, all over, I always be a prop, man, because like I said, I, I, that was just a, a, a real exciting time, man. It was, it was real fun, you know? And, 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 and I thank you, you know, because of the fact that the whole idea, man, was to, to, to celebrate the real stars of the community. That was the basis of the yeah. hoodie awards and the neighborhood awards because of the fact that, and I, my whole thought, was that okay instead of having the celebrities being recognized for honor let's use the celebrities as almost like props to get people there because yeah. you know yeah. if we said that we were just going to be doing best barbecue best high school wouldn't nobody show up but you yeah, got Steve yeah, Harvey hosting. Yeah. You got the Sally Ri just just Sally Richardson's on stage. You got the George Wallace yeah. on stage. You got yeah. Snoop Dogg or, or Ice Cube showed up one year. Magic yeah, Johnson showed yeah. up. When you get all these people, people going, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's going on here? What's going on here?" And then to allow us to be back, like like in the green, like before the wars, so <laughs> in, in, in the green room with them. You know, having cocktails and just like. And everybody interacted, man. It was incredible. Yes. And like I say, to, to even to walk to the uh, not just the uh, the red carpet when we walked through the casino right. or whatever, going inside, getting ready to call in and walking inside that arena, man. That was like that was that cool. was that was, that was major, cool. Man. That was that was major. Y'all yeah. did that. That was that was major because I, you know, the thing about it, I would not share. No, I was. If people would come in, they go, man, this is produced better than the Emmys. Dude, this is yeah, better yeah, than it because I, I because I had to do that. The worst thing in the world, yeah. man, is for us as black people, you know, to say you're going to do yeah. something good for us and then do it half. I didn't do it yeah, sloppy. Yeah. And that's what yeah, well, that was my yeah. greatest love, man, because to see the look on y'all faces, because y'all didn't believe it. Yeah. Okay. And nah, this nah. would always trip me out, man, was those acceptance speeches. See, I wasn't ready for that, Kevin. See, I wasn't ready yeah. for because I, I I told Steve Harvey, I said, look, man, I got the fact we're gonna nominate him. I got the fact we're gonna vote him, vote. I said, I don't know what they're gonna say when they get up there. Man, y'all yeah, got yeah. up there, man, and it was like uh it, it brought me to tears many times, man, because I didn't realize the impact. 
of a of a war, a community award. That's what it was. It was a community yeah. award, and how it affected. And you know when I, because I always like you know, because I was a regular guy. Steve was still a star, you know, like way back yeah, then. Yeah. But I could go to yeah. a restaurant. And I I went by your place one time back in the hood, and I went, and then and then I found out my girl Candy, who used to do my backstage celebrity uh streaming. Oh, yeah. She said, she yeah. said, Rushan, Rushan, Kevin is on La Brea. I said, who, who, who? who? Yeah, yeah. She said he got a spot on LeBron. I didn't even know, Kevin. I didn't even know you had that uh, she spot. She was so candy, so cool. That's my baby sister now, man. That, she is so cool, always so professional, man, mm -hmm. and, and just in, incredible. You right. know, I mean, your whole staff was just like, you know, oh man. I mean, I and, and I remember you guys came out and did the video of me, uh, and I was still in Compton, man. And, there you uh, go. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know what, and you know, Candy don't give no information. I, I you know, I used to try my best <laughs> to get something out of I said, do we have so So she said, boy, you think I'm going to lose my job over you? You know, stuff like that. And, uh, so she said about the video, when y'all did the video, she said, well, we, she, well, I don't want to say she lied, but she lied and say, oh, we do this with all the contestants. No, we and don't. People no, we don't. don't get on the video mm -hmm. at, the, at the lunch. And then I was on the lunch and I didn't even know till I got there, you right. know, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything y'all did was, it was just, it was, uh, it was for even like the waiting, like, like, like in that first time, I mean, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm sweating like a, a, a brother at a clan rally with a white woman. You know what I'm saying? I'm sweating and nervous. And mm -hmm. I said, man, I ain't been this nervous since football days. And it, it was just, uh, and I'm, and I'm not even putting too much on it, man. It was other contestants that I met. And then the friendships, the people that I met from yes, other sir. businesses that we are still good friends to this day, man. That's what it, that's what it's all about, man. I mean, I hear like the morning show sometimes and I get nervous because I remember doing the time when it's voting time. Cause, right, you know, we right. up early. Remember the East right. Coast got us by a few hours, so they done already started Absolutely. voting. But I just remember that one year, it was 645. They was about to go off the air. And, uh, and it was this crit Tommy said uh, that he was doing the top three or whatever, top four. Mm -hmm. And we was number three already. And Tom, Steve said, now that's a, now that don't make no sense. Bless those number three and them brothers in L.A. Hey, that's right. That's right. Know? That's right. So this is, I'm going to explain to everybody. See, what happened was from 2001 to 2005, we were L.A. We was an L.A.-based radio yeah. station. Yeah. Steve Harvey, 92.3. Yeah. And, uh, and Kevin and all, everybody was in L.A. So in 2005, we left and went to New York. We were based in New York yeah. for two years. So for one year, we took a year off. 2006, we didn't even do it. We didn't even do it because yeah. we were trying to figure out what we had to do with our own career. We were struggling to try to come up after that run. Yeah. And then 2007, we brought it back. And so what freaked me and Steve, I was like, okay, they in LA. And so, you know, you guys, and we, like you said, y'all were three hours difference. And y'all yeah, were yeah. voting. Y'all was seriously voting, Kevin. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. We had them, uh, we had everybody, every old college people everywhere. Everybody we knew all over the uh, United States. We had them going, man. But like I said, and you'd be surprised how many people still come and tell me how much they miss that. Yeah. And I mm -hmm. miss those weeks of the Hoodie Awards. I, yeah. And so many people, when you win it, would go. And then I remember being, you know, like I said, it, it, it started in L.A. It you sure know, did. It sure uh, did. Mm -hmm. But I remember being in, uh, I remember, you know, a couple of times, Blood Souls was the only one in it. I remember one time we, the one, my first year we won it, and Crenshaw High won it. And yes. then after that, it got so big that yeah. it was, people don't know how hard it is <laughs> to get into the top four, man, you know? Yeah, it, it, it was like, you know, because you're absolutely right, because 2007, 2008, that's when the, you know, it became really national because we started yeah. out syndicating yeah. to all these markets, New York, Chicago, yeah. Philadelphia, uh, you know, uh, Charlotte, uh, you know, Miami, yeah. all these different markets, Dallas. And so it yeah. wasn't just L.A. anymore. That's why I still trip yeah. that you guys were able to win before it really exploded. And when it really exploded, oh, it was yeah. like, wow, yeah. this is something that was just a just a cool idea that's become worldwide. Yeah. But that but that yeah. kind of like prepared you for what you're doing now as a as a, as a as they say, an international brand. Talk about the, the steps. We, we talked about the hoodies. We talked about coming out of Compton. You know, open up your shop. You got this beautiful restaurant. I'm gonna just tell y'all about the food, okay? At uh, Blood Soul Bar and Q, Bar and Q, that's on La Brea. I swear to you guys, every time I go to LA, you know, the COVID has kept me out. But I, yeah. I will go there, and I, you know, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm a type of by Candy, Candy, Candy. She goes by Candy Marie now because I represent her as an actress yeah. and and a talk yeah. show host and producer. She took me there the first time. She said, she said, Kevin said, he got you on this, Rashawn. I said, you know, I don't like that. 
I don't like that. Yeah. And so and I don't like when y'all pay, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so and so so you know, every time I go in there, I don't even tell nobody. I, I'm going. I'm yeah. taking the Air yeah. Force in there. Air Force in there because I had a big contract the Air Force. And then I was doing a base like two hours away in uh in the, in the month of March, two hours away. And I told them, I said, I want y'all to go to LA and all and get and pick up this barbecue run. They said, Rashawn, really? I said, Yes. Blood so <laughs> on La Brea. I said, the them collard greens gonna kill you. They're gonna mess you up now. Yeah. I said, collard greens gonna mess you up. And they said, when I they two hours down, two hours back. Was nobody disappointed? They went, "Wow, yeah. I see why you went." I appreciate that. That's how powerful I believe in your brand. That's how good your brand is. Tell everybody about the menu that you have, the type of food that you serve on your menu, Kevin. Oh, uh, like I always say, baby, we 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 do it right, low and slow, like a six four. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. Take our time. The brisket is 15 hours. The ribs is four to five hours. You know, we we. You know, I'm a firm believer. If it ain't broke, don't don't fix it. You know, right. I still do it the way Willie Mayfield used to do it when I would come in, uh, spend my summers in uh, Corsicana. You know, she would take her time and do it right. You know, and I just try to I, I I just try to keep that going at every spot that we got. You know, um, and and like I say, just knowing incredible people like you and 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 and, and it's so funny you bring up because I had a discussion about that with a uh, a younger guy who just opened up a spot and he was saying, you know, say you know. Uh, sometimes celebrities come in and, and uh, uh, this and that, this and that. I said, let me just tell you one thing. I don't care who they are, whatever, whatever. You give them that option mm -hmm. because celebrities are different. Some mm -hmm. of them are just like you who's like, I want to pay. Some of them don't. Right. You right. know, mm -hmm. but you, mm -hmm. you being, you need, you need them more than they need you. Right. And like mm -hmm. on any field, you got cool people and you got, uh, you know, people who's tripping or whatever, whatever. Right. But mm -hmm. you, that's on you to understand that. But a celebrity coming in there is going to look out for your business. Yes. But you have to respect, just like they respect your work as a chef and they come to your spot, you have to respect they work. Like these people don't want to deal with people sometimes, mm -hmm. but they take the time to come come to you and come to your spot. And sometimes us as business owners have to really quit speaking on people's pocketbooks mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. That one tweet or some of the, 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 like when you talk about free advertising or some of the stuff that you do, I can never pay for that. Right. Right, because I post every so, time. I, I post, I, I post, I post, I post uh, a couple of uh, last month, and I hadn't even been there, and I act like I was there. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I'm saying. But I can't, and I, I respect that, and I love that so much. And I try to tell younger brothers and sisters who open up, get that mentality. They 99 percent of the time they gonna pay, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. make sure you give them the respect that they deserve. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, we got all huge celebrities coming in, I and I do the same thing with all of them. Right, all of them. Right, right. You know, <laughs> I'm not gonna drop no names, but I'm talking about. Who's, you know, uh, some of the best artists we ever had, who's from the Titanic and everything come in that spot and they all look out. But you better give them, you know, take care of them, man, because these people are going to you, you need that. Who wasn't for that? And the, uh, the Hoodie Awards and getting to know that. I mean, it was so many celebrities that come to the Hoodie Awards that came to the restaurant afterward. Oh, I got to come see what this is about. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. And that's that's called community. But the thing about it, let me yeah. just tell you, I'm going to tell you some real talk here. Every time I've been, I've been there over a dozen times, okay? I brought people yeah. with me. I went in there by myself and just got the vegetable spread because when you get the vegetable yeah. spread and the meat, it's just too much. And I'm always traveling. Oh, yeah. And I don't really, yeah. I'm in yeah. a hotel, so I can't do a to-go, okay? And so yeah. so yeah. I, so sometimes I come in and give me some cornbread and then I give me, the, the you know, some collard greens, some beans. And, yeah. uh, and so I just break it up like that. Or sometimes you come in and give me a sandwich. And so, but every time I go in there, the, the the service is always on point, Kevin. The 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 meal looks exactly the same of quality, I separation. Yeah. Need. I mean, picture. I, I take pictures of your food, yeah. and then people yeah, go, you do. And your people go, okay, it look like that. I say all the time. All the yeah. time. I remember when I brought the yeah. Air National Guard in there. You know, we was we was staying yeah. way in Long Beach for for a conference. I said, they said, yeah. they said, where we gonna eat? I said, we going to. Uh, Blood so bar and cute. I said, where's that? I said, it's in LA. He said, all the way over there? I said, yes, we're going to go over there. <laughs> went up yeah. in there, man. They went, wow. 
after because uh, because I the beauty about the beautiful thing about coming to this place is like when you get your meal you get that double meat or triple meat order because I I'm the type yeah. of guy man I I people always say man you small you eat all that food hey 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 stay off my plate stay off my plate stay off y'all well y'all small ones the ones with that high metabolism <laughs> the people with the slow metabolism we need to we need to switch that up and so what happens when you have about five people at a table okay and all that food come to the table you get attention man because it looks so yeah, beautiful because yeah. every one of the yeah. plates is is look immaculate as far as we want to say you word is immaculate everything is nothing running off the sides nothing too small the portions are good that's why i just yeah. love what i what i eat that's why when i i, I kind of sneak in because okay go, i'm gonna tell kevin you know yay no yeah. problem, no problem. Yeah. Because I, it's yeah. about respect. That's why I started the Hoodie Awards, man. Because it's yeah. about showing love, man. The fact that you guys, you still believe in it, just excites me even more, man. And uh, yeah. and, and the yeah. fact it, that, it's... and the fact that you you're doing so well, and you you on TV. So talk about how did the television stuff start for you, and how was you, how was you, were you nervous? Did you know? Did you did you play it off? How did it all kick off for you, Kevin? Yeah. What my uh, first one, and it's so funny, my niece, because uh, I'm, I'm just like, shoot, this is uh, maybe 2010 right. or whatever, and I'm, uh, uh, I'm still knee deep in the Compton location. So uh, uh, this producer called and said, uh, hey, we really want to get, you know, Kevin Blood. And he, he happened to be at the restaurant. I didn't know who he was. And, you know, in the restaurant in the kitchen, we clown in the back. We clown and crack jokes and bags and all that. <laughs> so the dude heard me back there clowning. So I never even seen it, didn't know who he was. And uh, um, he kept calling. He kept always, he got my niece cell phone. He'd always call and she was like, Unc, this guy wants you for, for a TV show. And I'm like, mm-hmm. what TV show? Bar Rescue and I never heard of it mm-hmm. you know never heard mm-hmm. of the show and all mm-hmm. that this and that he kept calling and then one day she said look this dude need a video we finna go to your house and do this video so we we went to the house and started the video of just you know me interviewing and whatever whatever but before the thing was even set up it's me cussing her out and I'm like, I ain't got no time I don't know who these, my name, who these so-and-so's is and this man so when she sent it she sent the whole thing and John Tapper seen it and he thought, no, nah, I got to have this dude. I got to have him. Bam, right. bam, bam. Right. So, uh, and I got this a funny story. I'm going to keep it short. But we, so my first episode was in uh, Kansas City. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it was called Boondocks or whatever. The mm-hmm. show never was supposed to air because, so we saved this boy. I'm thinking this dude is, I, that's when I learned to be trained like a old Southern races are a Southern rocker. This dude was a Southern rocker. And we, we actually are good friends now. And, and, you know, Southern rocker, they like rap and country and all mm-hmm, that. And mm-hmm. he was uh, thinking he was a racist. But anyway, we get into it on the show. I'm like, you know, I'm going to put hands on this fool. And it's <laughs> all on the show. And, uh, but he didn't have no reverse. He didn't have no reverse. So he wasn't no punk. You know what I mean? He's right, like, right, right, with right. It. He, he, I'm going to get you. Gonna get you you're going to get. But anyway, so it's so crazy. So it takes about a, a couple of months for them to do it. Mm-hmm. So the night before the show was supposed to air, which was Thanksgiving weekend that year, I can't think of the, night, the exact year. He was having a party at his bar and got a guy was smoking a big time uh, country singer at his bar. And they got into it, had a fight. The dude kind of got the best of Chris. Chris shot and killed the dude. Wow. The night before the show was supposed to air. Wow. So they had to pull the show. But the show accidentally aired on the, the replay later on that night and right. it was a big old thing and all that but I'm saying I'm getting into this fool this fool go to he could have went to the back and got a gun on me on you, you know, we on you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but that was mm-hmm. my first episode my first TV <laughs> job and then uh, John Tapper is like huge in my life like you guys so I mean mm-hmm. this dude is, is as far as business and bars and the things that he knows mm-hmm. and like I said 15 episodes later man he, he keeps me busy in fact he called me the other day to congratulate me because the Netflix show is doing so good. It is. The number one after last week. It was the number one unscripted show on Netflix. And Dude. It's, it's doing well, man. First like of all, said, first of all, that we're talking about the American Barbecue Showdown. Okay. And they got yeah. some characters on there. And your girl from Mississippi, she's the real deal, yeah. brother. Cooked oh, yeah, the, yeah, who cooks the no whole show. hog. Did you know her before the show? Or uh, I just knew of her? I knew of her. Mm-hmm. I knew of her. I, I, that was our first time meeting. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, she's incredible. I mean, she's a legend. She's a legend, and uh, uh, and you'd be surprised some of those cooks to be first time. I mean, they did such a good job of getting that cast together. I mean, we're hoping for a season two, but you got some of the producers might not even want to do a season two because he said some things just need to be left untouched and to get that the cast of of the pitmasters that they had and the attitudes and the personalities 
it's hard, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to strike gold twice, you know, and uh, well, well, I'm just blessed, well, well, you blessed know, to be a part of. Well, you know, you, I know you'll be back because it's part of your brain. Yeah. It's part of your, it's just part of what yeah. you do. That, that like, oh, like yeah. for instance, you know, when I put the press release, release out, you know, they say, I, I said, well, Kevin's yeah. name first, Kevin Bloodsoe's name first on the press release. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. press release was reached 100 million people. Wow, wait, that yeah, press release was picked up when they start talking about audience picked up by different websites. They start putting that number together, a hundred million yeah. people, and that's what relationships do, Kevin. And that's what you're yeah. talking about. This yeah. whole conversation is that you respect the process, you understand the yeah. process. Just drop, just drop some jewels on people about the value of relationships, Kevin. I mean, it, it, like I say, when you when you say look, I look out. I would not be here if it wasn't for people looking out for me. And, and, you know, saying I always say, uh, Rush is, uh, I, I don't give to be blessed. I'm blessed, so I give. Right. You know, it's not no secret recipe to this. You know, it, it, it has to come from your heart. Like I try to tell people love to, to talk about all the funerals and stuff we paid for, um, you know, with blood cells. But right. I said, okay, let's also talk about the scholarships and how many kids we put through college too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, the, the, mm-hmm. It's more of the good things that outweigh the bad things. Right. And mm-hmm. God has put me in position to help like that. And that's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. And and it, it, it comes that that's what it's, it's like, it's so weird. It's just, and I try to tell people it's, it has to come from your heart and it's natural. The blessing is going to keep ringing in if you do what you're supposed to do. And how was you raised? You was raised to give, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. especially us as black folks. I mean, you know, coming up, what do we had? All we had was food and, and love and hugs and all that. And like, we got to, we got to go back to that, man. Absolutely. You know, we gotta, uh, Absolutely. We got to go back to that. And you got to want to put the work in. It's hard work. Like people want to get a business. I know, you know, a business is going to be the hardest job you ever had in your life. Right. 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 And if you don't have that, that's why everybody can't do it. A business is going to be the hardest job in your life. I mean, I said a dude, talking, I want to be like you. I want to, you know, be able to live in Texas and this and that, this and that. I said, okay, well, you ready to go eight years without an off day? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going you know, you, po- to I'm a, I'm a post that on a motivational card, Kevin. I'm going to put that on you my did. way. Are you ready to give eight years without an off day? Well, Man, you ready to be I an entrepreneur? Up, let me tell you, when I first opened up, uh, blood cells, I was still DJing. So I would have a, I would, I would get to blood cells at, uh, four o'clock on a Saturday morning mm-hmm. and, uh, be there until seven o'clock. Mm-hmm. Go at home night. Mm-hmm. at night, go home, take a shower, pack my gig up and go do a DJ gig. Get back about two, three in the morning, take a shower and go up to blood cells to take briskets off and get ready for the day. 24 hours straight. And that went on for the first almost year and a half of my business. Cause I was at one time I was just DJing and catering. So I was booked, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, but I had to do what I had to do. I mean, my daughter wrote one of the car. I wish I had it. She said, my daddy, if you knew the work, my daddy, it was called my daddy's not overnight success. My daddy would come in at three, four in the morning. I would just hope my father got at least one hour of sleep. And I know he didn't. My daddy's not an overnight success. And they got to know everybody's path is not going to be that way, you right, know. Right. But it's tough, especially when you, and I, I would, and I know you know, when, you, you know, money making conversation, I would tell anybody, if you can, please have the money and the backing to start. Because when you start on a shoestring budget, that's why a lot of them don't make it because you need that. And us as a community, that's why we need our own banks and we need, because we can't, these younger, they can't get the loans. You know, they want you to, to be experienced to get a small businessman loan, but you 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 need the small businessman loan to get going. You right, know, right, mm-hmm, and, mm-hmm. and and they and they and, and they have to understand that. And then as you grow, get get you know get with a good team. I have a good team behind me. There's no way I could do what I'm doing if I didn't have the team that uh, I have working. You know, with a with you know the Blood Souls LLC, the people that we have, the things that have been done, the doors that have opened to get to Australia, to get on the Brea, to get in those conversations that we need to be in so we can have a voice, right. you know, mm-hmm. and, that, and that's the whole thing. You you have to have a good team, man. And, and you got to trust the team. You might be the quarterback, but you need some good receivers, linemen, you know? running backs, yeah. you know, coaches, you know? you know, on the sidelines, Coach. cheering your own cheerleaders, yeah. all you that stuff, all man. That, you know? And more importantly, yeah. you need fans in the stands. That's called customers. That's right. They gotta, <laughs> and, how you gonna keep them, and how you keep them by putting out a good product. Absolutely. Kevin, I, I just want to thank you, man. And, uh, 
we look uh we don't hang up i'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap up the show i want to get the number for, and so we can stay in touch but uh no I, just, I, I just love you man i just love you man i did uh, man i got so much love and respect for you bro it's like it's it's unwavering man real talk you know because of the fact that i know where you came from i know yeah. i know and i know yeah. that what I've been doing all my life. I tell people I've been doing this since I was 18 years old. For some reason, God yeah. just uh, just said, this is what you do. You uplift people. You, yeah. you don't, when somebody's behind you, you don't run off and leave them. You extend an arm yeah. or a hand. Yeah. And that's what yeah, the that's Neighborhood right. Awards is. That's what the Hoodie Awards was. And to see uh, you, it have yeah. such a reaction in it. And there's a lot of people like that, man. I'll be in D.C. People, to, Rashawn, come on now. You ain't going to bring it back. Come on now. Yeah. Stop. Rishon, yeah, Rishon, yeah, Rishon. I, I'm talking about barber shops, beauty salons. Yeah. I'm talking about high school churches, Detroit, Atlanta, all over this country. Stop me, go Rishon. For real, man. For real. I said, look. Are y'all man. thinking about it? Well, we thinking about it, man. I got something else going to gonna, gonna, gonna jump off, but we'll talk about it, brother, because I, I, I understand right, right. exactly what's going off what's going on in life and i know it's needed yeah. especially during these times of the pandemic yeah. and black unrest because you know somebody messed up with this pregnant lady today had a knee on her the police wow, and that, it's not going to stop wow. man and we got to go out there and vote we got to register to vote That's the and, main uh, thing. Yes, and I'm, I'm voting in person my friend i am voting yes, in person too. i'm not Me messing too. around with no mail-in ballot i'm not messing around with nothing i want somebody to go here's your card sir you've officially voted because i want to people to understand that that if you want something in life no matter what it is a business you want to graduate yeah. you want to be in a relationship for a long term it's hard work it's hard work. Yeah. And yeah. voting yeah. is hard. If you got to stand in that line, yeah. if it's raining, yes. if it's storming, stand in that line. Because if stand we don't make a line. change, it's going to be uh, 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 four more years of a life that would never be good, especially for yeah. people who aren't making it. And I'm going to talk about, you know, we, we, we've we crossed a little line there, Kevin. We can survive the ignorance. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. But see, yeah. again, if I'm making it and my people ain't making it, then I'm not making it. We, that's right. You ain't making it because that's, that, that's a burden. You know, and I always say, too, and I know we rapping, but it wasn't that long ago when we talk about standing in lines. I mean, my son was at a, a play football at Utah and mm -hmm. uh, he called me one day and he was just upset. And he was like, Dad, you was born in 65. I said, yeah, Martin. He said the Voters Act was uh, May, uh, June or whatever, 65. I said, yeah, whatever it was. He said, so. When you was born, black people couldn't vote. I mm -hmm. said, no. So he said, my granny and them couldn't vote. I said, no. And it, it, it hit home with him. Mm -hmm. Like, he knows people. He couldn't believe that he knew black people that couldn't vote at the time. Right. Mm -hmm. And if people don't think certain things can happen again, like I tell people all the time, I'm, I'm, not, and I'm, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, theory of theorist or whatever. I said, but when they came and got them brothers from Africa for slavery, mm -hmm. I said, they were living normal lives. Yes, they were. Normal life. I said, please look at the big picture on everything. Please mm -hmm. look at people trying to line up with with Russia and things like that. Just always look at the big picture, man, and get out there and vote, man. It, it's a, this. I never thought we would be to this time again, and we are. And mm -hmm. if this don't bring us all together, and like I said, you can't say certain things aren't different because yeah. – I mean, I was in L.A. for the 92 riots. You know uh, what me I mean? Too. It was, me too. You know, brothers and H Hispanics out there. But now look at who's out there now. It's white, black, yes. Hispanic together. And like I said, maybe not in our lifetime, but I feel like once you have kids, it ain't about, it's about maybe in their lifetime and a lifetime after that, racism might not exist no more. You know what I mean? I and, 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 and that's what I try to work towards, man. But we got to do it, you yes. know? Yes. Kevin, I want to appreciate you coming on Money Making Conversation with a two-time, <laughs> I said two-time, Steve Harvey, Hoodie Award winner from Los Angeles, California, a.k.a. Compton, California, a.k.a. Yes, of course, a county, Texas, just south of Compton Dallas, for dog Texas. who don't know I-45. See, he know I know. He know I know. You know. Navarro and, Junior and, and College. The last, last graduating <laughs> class at Bishop College in Dallas. Oh! Ah, that's where my sister went to school, Bishop College. I know what you're talking about, 